Each day she wakes him. Each day she wakes him, she'll say the same thing. It's me, your wife, Lynn. She sees he's trying, at least he might be. Beneath the crying, between the sighing, she seeks to find him. Behind his eyelids, alive with five kids, a wife of 45 years, she thought she might live a normal life with before this crisis. They called it Alzheimer's. She remembers the tension as they try to present them with these lines and these charts and these guides for prevention. Well, it's called a disease, but it's a type of dementia. And we've called it quite early, said the doctor who met her. It probably feels there's a lot to remember. It's possible we've got till the end of December. So pop in next week to meet your dementia befriender. But that was all back in September before her panic attacks and his hands had a tremor that suggests she relaxed and then she'd feel better. How she wished they were back when he first met her. How he fished as she sat writing him letters. How they kissed their first flat, how they braved through all weathers. But today his fists raised. Once again he forgets her. He's enraged, feeling strange, he's developed this temper. She remembers the first day that they came to the centre, deep in pain on his birthday, hesitating to enter, on the way heard a nurse say, that's the worst case on record, but oh how his words stay in her brain as he led her, he'd say, it could be worse, hey, at least we're together. Though that was true at the time that he said it, what they'd go through would slowly develop. Misplacing shoes, phones, keys were never in their place. They had moved, but mostly the pressure. There was more to lose than simply possessions. She'd put up little clues in the kitchen and bedroom. You're Dave. You live here. You're 67. To tell you the truth, she never knew if he read them. Perhaps their use was helping her to feel better. What else could she do to help him remember? Would he make it through to the end of December? Christmas came quickly, or so it seemed. This nightmare she lived in was also a dream. Just simply living was now a routine. She'd still wake him up at 8.15, look into his face and tell him it's me. He'd stare into space and then he would breathe a sigh of relief, or so it seemed. She brushed all his teeth and helped him get clean. Now in a rush, she'd help him to eat. He'd make a fuss as she tugged on his feet, getting cross that his socks were the wrong kind of green. She'd explain they're the same as they'd ever been. But she hadn't lost her patience in weeks. She'd embraced that the rage comes alongside the grief. It's amazing but strange how love's strong belief is the key so it seemed to what's underneath. So she just loved him more, the parts she could see, and the rest in her head she knew his heart did still beat the same as it did as ever before. Though Key still went missing, she could never ignore how it feels when she kissed him and he said he was sure. Though his socks may be different and his head is still sore, with every minute he loves her more.